ladies and genitals welcome back to my daily motion channel i'm in the process of like changing my sheets so let's like kindly ignore the background shall we love oh, before we continue i just want to say thank you for 400 000 subscribers i just remember 2019 when i had 100 subscribers the cars are so loud can you guys like shut the fuck up i'm trying to film a youtube video okay I remember when I it was 2019 and I made my 500 subscriber video and now I'm at 400,000 subscribers and I can't believe there's so many of you in our clownery community like It's not going to be YouTube famous <laughs> You guys know I don't really like doing manifestation videos and the reason I don't like making manifestation content is because these videos always get a lot of views and bring in a ton of subscribers and then those subscribers only want that type of content when I make so many different types of videos you know i don't have a niche so when these people who join they're like tomorrow we do manifestation content i feel like unappreciated because it's not content that i necessarily enjoy making all the time and i just want people to you know like all of my videos instead of just pushing me to make this particular one sometimes if i make a vlog people are like we don't want this we want something else and it might only be that one person but it really irritates me so if you're new to my channel and you want to subscribe to me just for this video, please don't. Like, don't want you here. Seriously, please be gone <laughs> in the kindest way possible. Like, just please. Because it actually, like, hurts me. And it hurts the algorithm. <laughs> Bitch ass. Today, we're going to talk about crazy things I've manifested. I'm not someone that does, like, the whole 369 method or methods like that. If you've seen my other videos, you know that manifestation is, like constantly happening whatever your thoughts are it's going to project into the screen of space reality and it's going to manifest so to like prove manifestation is real every time something happens or i get a crazy synchronicity i write it down and i found this list the other day and i was like i need to like make a video on this because it's actually insane okay 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 i'll tell you one of the first things i think i can remember manifesting this was a sign i had manifested and it's insane okay 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 story number one when i was in grade 12 i decided i wanted to be a film director and obviously being a film director is such a rocky path it's so unstable that i didn't know if i should pursue it or not and i would like rack my brain every single day going like should i do this should i not do it and i just thought it would be so easy if the universe could tell me whether to do it or not so i said universe please give me a sign that i should do this or i shouldn't do it and I was taking my dog for a walk. You know how there's an island and then there's like the little gap and you walk across to get across the street? So I usually always cut across the island back home like, as a shortcut. But for some reason, this day, by the way, I just want to say I don't even go for walks. So, or oh, I didn't back then. So to even be out in the first place, going on this path was very rare for me. So. I don't cut across the island, I instead decide to go the longer route and go the proper route through this little thing. I get to the middle of the island and I happen to look down and when I look down, guess what is right there? This is insane. It's a motherfucking pamphlet and it goes, why you should be a film director, how to break into the film industry and I wish I took a photo of that pamphlet but I was like so shocked. And because, you know, we have a rational mind. I almost like played it off. I knew it was a big deal, but I played it off saying, no, like, no, I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. So I didn't take a photo of it. But I always remember that. And every time I remember that, it kind of freaks me out. Because number one, I shouldn't have been going for a walk. Number two, I didn't, I don't usually go that particular pathway. Number three, there had to be lots of cars at the time for me to have to stop in the middle of that island and look down, which I don't usually do. I always look ahead because... Flow milly shit, bitch. I like cash in my hair to my ass. Do the dance, can we make it go fast? Fuck the fame, all I run is them bands. And she keep on looking, then I'm still her mans. I try to be like confident all the time and always looking ahead and not down, you know? Okay, story number one. That was a sign I manifested. Story number two. When I was younger, my mom was going to put me into a private school and I was on the waiting list for years and years and years and in Australia how it works is when you're in primary school say like grade five to seven that's when people usually start to dip and go to private schools year seven is when it's your final year of primary school and then year eight is when you go into high school so 
In year six, everyone is preparing to enter either private schools or selective schools. So they're doing testing to get into selective schools because no one wants to go to a school in the area because it's usually very terrible. So because I was planning on going to a private school, I wasn't doing all the selective testing. Now, my mum and I had a fight and she pulled me out of the private school. So I'm in grade six now. I missed all the testing and I was like, holy crap, like I can't go to my local school because my local school is like genuinely for drug addicts. No offense if you know where I live in Perth, but like that school was shit, okay? There was a school in the other area which I really wanted to go to and I was like, I have to get into this school. The only program that I could get into was the Gifted and Talented Visual Arts program. Now, there were only 10 positions available and maybe like 400 people testing for it and in the previous year, it's a lot easier to get in because that's the actual intake here and I missed that. So I, I had to do testing in year seven instead of year six. When I think the positions went from like 50 to 10. So you can imagine how hard it was to get in. My mum and I, she would literally look up the bus routes to this school and be like, Simone, this is the route you're gonna go on. She would take me there. Sometimes we'd catch the bus and she'd be like, okay, we're just practicing you going to the school. I hadn't even gotten in yet. And I would be like, mum, like, why are we doing this? We did it all the time. We would walk the route. I would walk to school. If I went to that school, we'd take my dog there. She'd be like, Simone, this is where I'm going to pick you up when you go here. Guess what? I literally got in. Didn't think I was going to get in. I got in. And I think it's because, you know, we kept on doing it so much that I believed it. And my mum believed it. And it manifested. Like, there was no way I think I should have gotten into that school. We didn't think I was going to get in because... We also had to do academic testing and from memory, my scores were like really bad. Like when I was in primary school, I was not a good student. I've talked about this and my scores were so low. We were like, I'm not getting into this school. Like there is no fucking chance. My art is mediocre. I'm not gonna lie. I was like the worst person in the gifted and talented art program. Like everyone in there is like a god at art. So when I did you know, I was in gifted, talented art throughout high school. I was genuinely just like, the shittest person at drawing. I got in because they liked my fashion designs, but I actually finessed. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about it. Actually, here's something else. This is more about speaking things into existence and it happening. And it happening. So I have a list of people that I want in my life, basically, and people I think I'd be good friends with. Guess who was on the list? Number one, Jaden Smith. Okay, Jaden and I, we're gonna be besties one day. You watch and see, but Kelly Stamps was on the list. Kelly, if you're watching this, I'm not a creep, bitch. I'm not a creep. I just put her on the list because I was like, I like her. We'd be good friends. So I put her on the list, forgot about it. Guess what? I think a couple of months later, Kelly DMs me because I casually commented because I watched her videos. She saw my comment, she DMs me and we've been friends for like literally a year now. So many things like that have come true for me. For example, oh my God, this is actually another crazy story. You guys are gonna freak out about this. So after my breakup, I wrote a list of all the qualities I wanted in a man. Some of them were really dramatic and insane. I'll give you an example. One of them was that I wanted my boyfriend to be royal <laughs> and I wanted him to be feminist, which is not like, Ex feminism is not like extreme. I would like my future man to support women, you know, and not be a misogynist like other men. But I wrote royal, cause why not? Guess what happened? Two weeks later, I got a DM from a prince. He was like, hey Simone, I just stumbled across your profile. And I, something like, let's talk about like art, wine and culture. I'm not gonna reveal who it is, of course. And I was like, what the fuck? Because you know why this is insane? Number one, I have a very big female demographic. I don't post on Instagram, so I'm not really going to come up on men's explore page. You know, I'm for the girls. So the fact this happened was insane and it was legit. Like he's verified. I was just mind boggled and I feel like it was the universe saying, look, this is a sign that you should not trip over your breakup and you're going to be fine, girl, because, you know, your prince is out there and you're perfect man is out there and you can manifest anything that was an insane story also you guys know i manifested my ex-boyfriend have a video on my second channel about that but he didn't have all the qualities i was looking for 
because I had no experience with men or having a boyfriend before so I literally didn't know what to write down but the very basic qualities I did write down he was those but I was missing about 129 other qualities so you know manifested that as well okay here's something else I'm a very lucky person I've always been lucky I would literally win everything and the reason I win is because I manifest it I'm, I've always been saying I'm a lucky person. Everyone tells me I'm a lucky person. And because that is my dominant belief now, when I enter competitions, I win. You know what, I, I've got to start entering lotto, the lottery because I'm a win. I'm gonna win the Powerball one day. Most recently, I was doing drag queen bingo with my friends and I was losing every single game. But I kept saying to myself, I think I'm gonna win the final prize. Like, I have a feeling I'm gonna win. Guess who won? Me. I won. I knew it. Okay, another one which is similar to speaking it out into existence. I had a Pinterest board a while ago of my dream clothes, and on it, there was this Jacques Mousse dress, but it was sold out everywhere. And it was kind of expensive. But guess what? Maybe a, like six months later, I happen to be browsing Essence and this dress is available on sale. The final dress available and in my size. I didn't buy it though, because <laughs> I was like, it's not actually practical. So that's another thing I've manifested. I manifested an ex coming back. I don't really recommend doing it because the day he came back was the day my life ended. But luckily, I'm like reborn again. And I have like a bunch of synchronicities I'll talk about too, which is, have happened to me. I, I think synchronicities and seeing like angel numbers are your angels communicating with you or just showing that you're on the right track. So first of all, when I'm actually actively manifesting something, I see 111 everywhere. When my ex and I broke up, I remember I started to get all these signs that he was going to return and number one, saw his name everywhere, two, saw 111 everywhere, three, would hear songs he liked which weren't that popular in stores and I remember thinking, oh shit, this motherfucker's about to come back and I was right, the day he came back was the day my life ended. Don't ever be manifesting an ex back. That's what I'll say. Literally let go and you're going to be better than ever. And when you think about your past relationship, you're going to want to throw up and pretend it never happened. Okay, I digress. Anyways, another synchronicity I had this year when I was manifesting something else. I was in Kathleen's car and I said to her, let's put music on. So she plugged in her phone and on shuffle, About You Now automatically started playing. And it was insane because that's exactly the song I was thinking about in that moment. I was going to tell her, can you put About You Now on? And I said to her, were you already listening to that? And she's like, no, like it just randomly started playing. I was mind blown. Another one. I remember I was speaking to my friend about Joseph Ally. He's a manifestation YouTuber. And as I was speaking about him, I got a, email from him asking to collab and I thought that was an insane synchronicity at that moment. I've had, okay, there are so many like that, talking to my friend about wanting forever flowers, then getting a sponsorship message for roses which last forever, literally the day of. Okay, something else I want to talk about is things coming full circle. Don't know if this is manifestation, but everything comes full circle. I don't know how to explain it. The easiest way is guys. Um, any guy I've ever had a crush on that maybe didn't know me, didn't like me at the time, including celebrities, all has come full circle in the end. It's just bizarre. I have, I don't, I can't talk about the stories, but you gotta watch what you say, you guys. That's the moral here. You have to watch what you say because whatever you say, you're literally speaking it out into existence and it's going to come true, whether it's like in a day, a year, whatever, it will come true. Even if you speak negatively about someone, you can be like, that girl is so fat. Guess what? You're going to be fat. I'm telling you, you're going to be fat. Watch. Give it a year. You'll be fat. Shit just happens like that. I can't describe how many times I've thought something negative in the past, which I don't do anymore, but it's just come back to me. It's kind of like karma, but karma 
to me is you putting out negative energy, it goes through other people and somehow it makes its way back to you. Don't forget, we are constantly manifesting. You don't have to do like the whole 369 method, whatever. It's just whatever you're thinking. Whatever you're thinking is going to happen. Watch my other videos for this. Learn to control your thoughts. When you control your thoughts, you'll control your mind. Literally now, I feel like I can feel my subconscious thoughts forming all the time. And when I'm consuming something like media, I, I just think about how this is affecting my mind. You have to be careful about what you put into your mind. Think about it this way. You're very careful about what you put into your body. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. But let's say you've been eating junk food for a week. You might stop to say, hey, maybe I should eat some vegetables and not have that Macca's burger again. It's exactly the same thing for your mind, but people have less control over it. Your mind, put it, using social media, for example, is like eating junk food like constantly throughout the day. You're polluting your mind. You have to clear it out every once in a while and if you go off social media, you're really going to see your subconscious patterns emerge. Also, if you guys get drunk or get high, your subconscious thoughts come out then and it's scary. Don't recommend it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I love you all and I see you all as my friends. And follow me on Instagram because I am always posting stories on there. Period. Ich liebe dich. Have a wonderful evening, night, wherever you are. Also, leave a comment because I read all the comments. A lot of people love each other. The world would be a better place to live. Roman, Roman, vacacion. Mi hada madrina dijo que sí. Este de aquí me hizo llorar. Este otro me dice marica. Este otro de mí piensa mal. Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan. Voy a encerrarlos bajo la tierra tierra. Nadie va a comer y de hambre morirán. Madre quiero saber. En verdad quién soy yo.